and welcome back to the Darth Mohawk Show, and I'm your host, Darth Mohawk. Today we're going to be playing this game, Super Mario Bros. 2, which I believe in Japan was known as Doki Doki Panic and featured a different cast. As you can see, I've already deleted all my, all my previously saved files, so I shall have no choice but to start a new game. Why don't I show you the story, just for kicks. There we go. Story. When Mario opened the door after climbing a long stair in his dream, another world spread before him, and he heard a voice call for help to be freed from a spell. After awakening, Mario went to a cave nearby, and to his surprise, he saw exactly what he saw in his dream. Da 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 da. Push start. Okay, sure. All right. Hmm. Let's go with Mario to start with. I can't. I shall attempt to show you all 50, no, 38 mushrooms that are in the game. Sup? Plus. Alright. And the reason that this is sometimes called the pick em up game by myself and co. is because you get to pick up vegetables and enemies and chuck them around as though they were so many sacks of provender. Give me that. Yeah, throw potions down to the ground and your doors that will lead you to subspace that lead to mushrooms, which increase your maximum health. Take a hit and it goes down by one. Kill enemies to find hearts that will float up from the ground that will restore your health. Cherries are good. Collect five of them and you'll find an invincibility star man. Although, if you know much about this game at all, you will already know that. Collect one ups to keep you in the game, duh. Pow block! Whoa, the bomb! Bomb! Here we go! Now see this place up here to the left? If I went left there, I could just skip straight to the boss, but I didn't. Alright, let's go in this door. Give me that. I'm just skipping the money. Yeah, if you throw up any grass that isn't, like, you know, something special, while in subspace, you will find a coin. For the first two trips, that is. And... Ow. You can spend those coins at a slot machine. At the, at the, uh... At the, uh, bonus game. That happens every time you beat a level. Fight. Fight me. It means the boss is here. It's Birdo. Take this. Grab her eggs and chuck them back to defeat her. It takes three blows. Grab the crystal ball. Enter the edge of the hawk head. Slot machine. Get three of anything and that's worth plenty of one-ups. Get a cherry for the first slot, and that's a one-up. Get two cherries, it's a two-up, three cherries, it's a three-up. If you get three sevens, that's ten extra lives. Count them. Hooray! Huzzah! Am I a genius or what? I've actually figured out how to manipulate the first reel of the slots, and thus ensure that I have plenty of extra men. And it's very simple. I listen when I hear a single beep. I press A, and that will make it stop on the same thing it used to be. I don't know how to do it for the second or third reels because I'm not that good yet. Well, level one dash two. All right, All right, each of the right here, of course. Yeah, I'm hijacking your carpet. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna crash into these guys. Ow! Didn't work. <laughs> I did that on purpose for all you watchers. Alright, give me that so I can have my health back. Hey, I'm healthy! Alright, the thing about Luigi... Oops. Why did that happen? Oh, I was holding down when I exited the... What up? Hooray! Luigi, he has the best jump. And... He also fumbles his feet when he moves! That's what... Heads are nickname for him, Fumble Feet. Ow! Thanks for that, Fumble Feet. Thank you. Give me that cherry. Alright. Here's what we're gonna do. Are we gonna go in that door? No! Only Luigi can do this! Skip the entirety of that basement! 
Although, I did promise to show you where all the mushrooms were, so I think I should probably go back in the other direction. Ow! Alright, I gotta go down this other base. There's the key! Pick it up though, and Phantom's after you! Make haste and escape his wrath! I mean wrath. God, Make haste and escape his bath, huh? Yeah, I said fath, actually, but... Ooh! Starman! Give me that! Woo! You have fath in the Lord! Oh! Uh, no. just happened! <laughs> no, I saw that. We all saw that. It was recorded. Yeah. Just like that other thing I recorded in the Hammer Time video. I was like, I was gonna start World 2, and then, um, I fell down and died, I, I mean, I... What happened was I was gonna start World 2, okay? And I entered the first level, with my Hammer Brothers suit equipped, and the first Micro Goomba that's, you know, stuck underneath a brick, he got me. So I immediately reset and started a new, uh, a new, uh, video. <laughs> Alright, this is where the other mushroom is. We gotta... Blow up at least one of those two brick walls. This one or that one. In order to get at the mushroom on the other side. Alright. Now we can go Oh, Star Man. Let's see if I Ow! Can't carry this all the way to Birdo! It's hard but doable. If you're still invulnerable, you can just crash right into her and kill her! I love doing that! Because it's hard to do. Ta-da! Now, I could have grabbed 18 coins on that level by, you know, having Toad around and just pulling up the grass from the potion that I found at the top of the building. Twice. Bye, Ma! Alright, Toad! He's fastest, and he can pick stuff up, and actually, while he's holding a mushroom block, he moves even faster. <laughs> I think. <laughs> For some absurd reason. Yeah, here's the first mushroom. But his, his jump is ridiculously bad. So, yeah. I need one more cherry to get me an extra. Alright, let's go. Give me that! <laughs> Five cherries, star man! Alright, I did that on purpose. That way I'm not gonna be bothered by the fishes! Take this! They're vicious! They're pernicious! They're nutritious! Yeah, I just did the super jump, which I forgot to explain. Hold down! <laughs> and you'll be able to execute it. After, you know, your character begins growing or whatever. Yeah! That didn't For work. For a mushroom guy, he's Toad's a tough guy, huh? Yeah. I mean, Toad Sizzle, man. He doesn't look like much. He gets stuffed into a ow, bag every time, uh, you know, Princess Peach gets kidnapped. And I hit twice. Blah! Uh, shed happened again! Because then I'd be dead. Alright, start throwing bricks. I missed. Take this! Alright, let's see if I can't blow up enough enemies to get myself a heart. I should probably have brought a brick. You know, to blow these guys up. Yeah, Toad! Uh, thing about the Mario Brothers is that if, if they're doing a running jump, all characters go a little bit higher, but they can reach four bricks. Whoa, that's creepy! <laughs> but I like it. The effect's like, oh yeah. Run, punk, or you're gonna get owned. Now watch as I beat Fanto to the door! I think. You never know when he's gonna sneak back in on you. No, he started up there. He, he can't, you know, metamorphose through the walls, I mean, except... Oh, I thought he could. He could go from left side to right and stuff, but, um... He, he's not so good vertical. Oh. Okay? That's a weakness. Ow! Need a heart. The trick is, of course, to just go. There we go. The trick is, of course, to just go up or down really fast. Yeah, actually, preferably up, uh, preferably down because, uh, you know, that's Real quick. Take that. All right. This is the end of World One. Whenever they just put a crystal ball for you to take, it means there's a boss fight. Look, Lego bricks. Kinda weird. Uh, yeah. Bob. Bob. All right. You're gonna see a Here's Mauser. He'll Here's be showing Bowser. up later. So, the thing is, he throws bombs, and you're supposed to catch them by holding the run button and jumping into them, and then stick them on the back end of his platform so they blow up on him instead. Three hits will do him in here. Not so easy next time. And that's World One for you.
Here comes Will too. Two sevens, but not a third. <laughs>